Hi guys, this is Brett from Custom FX. Today we're going to show you the new TL console switch panel for the 2021 and 2022 F-150s. May fit newer years as the years go on, we will see, but it is uh, 2022 right now. And these consoles are used in those F-150 trucks. And shown here are the switch panels that Custom FX is also known to be doing with high quality T6061 CNC machined aluminum. All the edges are chamfered, recessed bolt holes, includes many various styles of switches with LED options, both momentary and standard latching on off latching can be available in a four switch configuration. Also in a full six switch configuration. This includes a free laser etched logo of your choice. Again, I'm gonna stress on this. It is a free laser etched logo. You can choose a logo. Many choose a stealth look and no logo at all. We sell plenty of those. But again, these logos are free. It's a free service. It is a gift. There is no charge for any logo of your choice. If you do have a business logo, you will need to send artwork on a high resolution uh, type of file. But Custom FX has been known to be making many various switch panels, including headliner mount switch panels and some people just don't want to cut into the headliner on a brand new truck so even though modification is required it's a little bit easier to swallow to modify the console which of course your switch housings and all the bolt holes have to be drilled and that's got to be cut so your switch panels can set into place given is going to be a template that you're gonna hold on there and center. Trace your rectangular opening for the switches to pass through. Mark your bolt hole locations. Drill four holes. Supplied is gonna be nice black Allen bolts that sits inside that recessed hardware for a nice, clean, customized look. So I'm gonna make a couple little videos here, splice them together and kind of show the install steps to install the switch panel into your new 2021 or 2022 F-150 with a new TL upper console switch panel. So the first step is to get your template and center it side to side, top to bottom. Do not crowd this to the upper edge. Again, you want an even space in between top and bottom. You're going to get a Sharpie marker and just trace the outline of your rectangular opening to allow the switches to pass through. Mark your holes. You're going to drill those. The holes are strategically made to fit in these locations. So it's easy to put the flat washer and the nut on the back side to tighten it up. For the method of cutting, I would recommend using a Dremel type of rotary tool. And you're going to basically just cut that. Make little cuts. You may have to use a utility knife to clean some edges up. But everything is hidden behind where that panel is going to go. So there's plenty of room for a margin of error. Uh, if you do slip. But the next steps, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark this and then go ahead and make the modifications. And there are your marks and the tracing that I use with the Sharpie. I use an automatic center punch for the hole locations. And then I'm gonna use a small drill bit for a pilot. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to use a 3 16 drill bit to make the holes for the switch panel. I will do that first. 
The four bolt holes have been now drilled. Your two front holes will indeed be encroaching upon the little plastic gussets there. I just used a utility knife and just cut right into them and cut them off flush. It's real easy to do. But you'll need to make sure that those two bolt holes are going to be sitting flush once you put the flat washer and the nut on the back side. Next step is going to be using my cutoff wheel to be cutting around the surround so that your switches and switch housings can pass through. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed, so uh, the video won't show that. But if anybody has uh, cut into plastic with a cutoff wheel before, just make sure you use eye protection. It's very easy to do. And uh, clean up all rough edges after you get done cutting it. And I will show that step next. Okay. That was actually really easy to cut. Uh, at this time, I guess I should probably just make a disclaimer. Um, do this at your own risk. Uh, this console I actually bought used online. Uh, if you want to go ahead and put tape to protect this, I had no issues whatsoever. There's little plastic swarfs that does get flying off on this. That's why you do want to wear eye protection. Um, and then a lot of times when the cutoff wheel starts going through this, it starts melting the plastic. You get like little burrs. Uh, once they harden, you can just get a small pair of pliers. They come right off. Um, but, but it works out really, really well. Uh, but again, yeah, if you want to take some precautions to protect your console, maybe put some painter's tape, you know, over the area, um, whatever. God forbid if you even slip and go this way, the switch panel will be covering that up. But if you want to still protect this, a good steady hand, and obviously if you're not comfortable, um, maybe have this more professionally done from like an off-road shop or somebody, um, a local shop that might be interested in doing something like this, you know, for you. But anyways, the... Uh, of course, the switch is on the back of the panel. That's the whole reason for making that happen. Uh, whenever you get your switch panel, it will be completely wired up. All wires will be soldered, heat shrink, nice professional power cable with uh, 16 foot of cable. The ends will be labeled, as always, from custom effects that, uh, that you can easily identify which switch is which, power in and power out wires. And you can hook that to your relays use your relays not supplied use your relays but what that allows you to do let me do this one-handed here well this will allow the switch panel to now sit in place and you can see the reason why you need to go ahead and modify what you do to allow this to happen and the retaining nuts of the switches to pass through in the wiring. But I'll show a couple switch panels here bolted in place here right after this and uh, that's pretty much the modification of this. At that time once you bolt that into place you're going to want to reinstall your console back up into your headliner. You're going to be feeding your power cable you know, out to your A pillar, run it down out the firewall, out to the battery area so you can hook up to your relays. Again, relays are required, not supplied. Use your relays from your lights or buy a relay or a relay harness. But your wiring will be all completely included. You just feed it now through, bolt your console on, and put your console back up into your headliner. Now shown is a fully installed TL console switch panel for your 2021 and 2022 F-150. The supplied mounting hardware, the toll required is a 330 seconds Allen for the bolts. On the back side, you put the flat washer and the nuts. The size of the nuts, the wrench size is an 1130 seconds. That's 1130 seconds wrench on the back side. And again, when you get your switch panel, it will be completely wired up. All wires are soldered, heat shrink, power cable attached. 16 foot of power cable will give you adequate length to run down your A pillar, go through the firewall, then out to your battery. The flying leads are labeled for easy identification to connect to your relays. Again, relays are not included. You should supply them that came in with your light kits. 
If you did not get any relays with your lighting, make sure you do get a relay or a relay harness, depending on how you want to wire it up. The switches, lifetime warranty switches. These plasma switches are absolutely phenomenal. They're great. They come in various LED colors from blue, red, white, uh, green, orange, and even yellow. And even available in momentary switches as well, too. I will show a few other switch panels uh, now installed on this at this time. Here's another panel installed. These switches shown have the red decorative ring. Inside is still red LEDs. That ring does not make the LED color. Same thing with this blue one, for example. That blue ring does not mean that is what's helping making the LED color blue. If you remove that blue ring, there are still blue LEDs inside that switch. But you can choose the colored ring, or you can go with clear. Again, whatever color LED you choose is still the color of the LED inside the switch. This just adds a little bit of color and an option if you choose uh, to kind of make some things different on your switch panel. Again, available in a full six switch panel. And although there's no room for a logo in the center, this is the full distressed USA flag that is laser etched all across the complete surface that is available. Again, it is free. So if you choose to go with that, or just go with the plain black one. I guess if you want to have a, like a little logo here, little logo here, here, here. Uh, I guess we could do something like that. Um, uh, that is up to the customer. But if you choose to do so, it is indeed a uh, free service and a, and a gift. But this shows the full distressed USA flag. Now switches again protrude through with no issue. I'll show you another one. Here's the full six switch panel with no logo. Also available are larger diameter switches. These are the three quarter inch round plasma switches. Also available in various LED colors from blue, red, white, green, orange, and yellow, including momentary. These switches are also available in a polished stainless version. Same LED color choices also available in momentary as well, too. These are only available in a four switch configuration due to space restrictions. But here's a comparison from the first switches I showed. Because of the space, this allows the logo to either be larger if you go with the 5 8 diameter switches, or if you have a smaller logo or prefer no logo, or want the smaller logo, you can always go with the 3 quarter inch switches. Same logo, different size switches. Many options on LEDs and colored rings on the 5 8 But this also gives you some more options to choose from in between the larger switches. And if you do have a small logo, sometimes the bigger switches will be better. If you have a small skinny logo that will fit in the center to be more in proportion, that gives you that option as well. And if you do choose a polished stainless version, you can choose larger ones. Okay, so to conclude this video, uh, this is again showing the full distressed USA flag uh, with a uh, logo in the center. Again, free service. It is a gift. There is no charge for any logo that you want. Switches have a lifetime warranty. And if you do have any questions, you can see me on the F-150 forum as I'm a vendor on there. And you can simply email me directly at lethalweapon09 at yahoo.com.
Thanks.